I got to play in all pro football. I want to show this twice speed, uh, once from the tackler's perspective and then once from the uh, halfback's perspective. This is uh, Colts versus Browns. This is Gary Brackett. And there you see the play from his angle. And then now we'll show the play uh, from Jamal Lewis's angle. And then we'll talk a little bit about how even this game using can animations seems to be able to respect physics and momentum a lot better than Madden 10 does. So now you've seen the play at speed from both parties involved. And what you've got here is a pitch. You see Jamal Lewis runs behind his fullback there. Looks for an instant that he's going to run through the, uh, the line. And then for some reason thinks better of it. Maybe because there's two blockers over here and he just has a defensive back to beat. I don't know. But he engages with his fullback, goes to run outside, and what this does is allows my defensive back, you can see I'm controlling the defense, to pursue down to the line of scrimmage. And uh, I'm going to essentially use a hit stick here, and he's going to try to spin. He's going to counter my hit stick with a spin. What happens is a little bit of motion shift, but you can see I don't come in with enough force, but he's off balance as well, so it kind of balances out. Instead of making the tackle, I hit him very low, and I just kind of push him backwards. He continues to do his spin, he's still trying to get his footing underneath him, and essentially what happens is by the time he gets his feet back set and turned, he's five yards back to where he was. This allows my linebacker, Gary Brackett, who's coming in off a block, straight and fast, not any agility or, or strength issues, to come in and make a clean tackle well behind the line of scrimmage and take what would have been a uh, one to two yard gain and turned it into about a three or four yard loss simply because the game respected physics and momentum again in a way you don't see in Madden 2010.